We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's Rays baseball, and it starts right now. Blake Snell is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Tampa Bay. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Stepping up now, Jonathan Davis, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. First pitch, seven ten. On the ground to the right side. And there's one down now. Got it, second. The second baseman, Joe Hannon. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the former St. John's University standout, Joe Panic. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Hey, thanks, Matty B. Hey, Dero, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today. But, boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one with you two guys. Definitely. The two teams playing top of their game right now. Really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. That misses. So the count goes full now to the second batter of the ball game. That's lifted the other way out to left. Heading after it is Margot. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. The third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So coming to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. That evens it up one and one. Two out, nobody on. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. The one two. Grounded back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two That's outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Oscar Hernandez digging in now as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one 287 the average coming in 11 home runs and 36 RBIs I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound but what makes him so successful is that he's aggressive in the zone getting ahead forcing action Guerrero is off a of first with two away Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Toronto. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Tanner Roark gets the ball for the Blue Jays in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this one here today. Stepping into the box, Joey Wendell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 
window. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Uh, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, when you get off to a slow start, all you want to do is get back to that 500 number, and you don't care how you get there. Well, this team has done exactly that, and today starts the first day. Hopefully, they find a way to get a win, one game over 500, and everybody is feeling good about the season. The 2-1 home. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. Hit back up the middle. Panic to his right. He has it. And he's retired here one away. So striding in, Manuel Margot. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Off the plate, ball one. The 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. If you can command that with movement, it's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in the catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Now a move over to first. Just keeping him close. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Runner at first here. One man out. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. That can be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count. And if you throw another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. Three and oh now. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. At the plate, Brandon Lau. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the belt, the pitch. Right side. Reined in. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're off to the second. Scoreless on the show. Into the box now, Bo Bichette. He brings a hit streak that currently sits at six games entering play. Bo Bichette. First offering on its way. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. One and one to count. Nope. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. High in the air out to center field. Under it to make the catch is Wendell. One away. Batting fifth. The right fielder, number 15. Randall 
Gritcher. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Randall Gritcher, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. And a ball 1 0. No score here as we play inning number two. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2 0. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair 2 1. Now here it comes. Back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on That's it. Hard right. single up the middle. The yeah, watch your lips right Number there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Previous history with Blake Snell, he's gone just two for 13. Strike two. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in, Kevin Biggio. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Here's the first pitch to him. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there. He'd like Runner, to have yes, that. Yes. He'd love to swing at that one again. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Margo on his horse. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Blue Jays held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now at the plate, G-Man Choi. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. G-Man Choi. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Batting fit. Not your stop. Willie Adamas. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. First pitch coming, here it is. At the ball. Ball one, no strike. Ball two and two. oh. Adamas tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing, maybe he just picks up the ball a little better, but that's the book on him at this point. Bottom of the second here with no score. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Davis is there now, and he has it. Two gone. That is set. The third baseman, Yandy. Yeah. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Ball one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Thank you. 
down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Fly ball out toward left center field. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And that retires the side. Down in order go the Rays. We'll move to the third with no score. Up next is Danny Jansen. He'll match up with Blake Snell now to lead off the inning. Number nine. And there's a strike right down the heart of the plate. 0 and 1. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Fouled away. The 0 2 delivery. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Lau over to his left. One down. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Stepping in for the Jays, Jonathan Davis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up and he was able to put Goodwood on it. Here's Joe Panic. And this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Yeah, and just one pitch after giving up the base knock. He uncorks a wild one and allows him to go to second. That's like giving a guy a double that he didn't even earn. That'll drive you crazy when you're on the mound. 2-0 and oh now. Has a look. Now the pitch. 2-1. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, and oh, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Lifted the other way out to left center. Heading after it is Margot. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Up next for the Blue Jays. The third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero. Coming to the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Margo's under it. And that's the third out. One left for Toronto. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And Stepping into the box, the Rays, Mike Zanino. The catcher, Mike Zanino. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. The windup and the 0 1. Loud contact off the bat of Zanino, and a ball sent to deep left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a solo homer here for Mike Zanino. Home run number nine on the year as the Rays move out on top one to nothing. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake. And you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Comes into his first at bat at 283. Seven homers and 21 driven in. And he takes this one high, one and one. 
Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Fastball. Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Again, another foul ball. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Scooped up. The 2-2 two -two one more time. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Back to the top of the order now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And the run will score from second to make this a 2-0 ball game. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. And that'll bring up Manuel Margo as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. Oh, and he just picked him apart in that at-bat as he's gone on three pitches, one away. This is the kind of at-bat where your hitting coach now grabs you on the way like back to the dugout to have a little there. chat about your approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at-bat when you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches. At the plate now, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll come in here at 263. 14 homers and 31 RBIs. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. At the plate to Oscar Hernandez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Here's the pitch. Now started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Well, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And another foul ball. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batter. 
And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Rays' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. Standing in now, Bo Bichette. And so way down a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In the air out toward right field. Meadows moving back. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. The right fielder, number 15, Randall Griffith. Digging in now, Rendell Gritchick. He reached on a single in his first try. The pitch. Nope. That's hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Comes in with the changeup, and it's 2-0. Oh. Too tight nope. with that That's one. 3-0. and oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. Digging in, Rowdy Tellez. Man at first after the two-out walk. No balls in one strike. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Oh, Breaking pitch, and this Tell bounces in front ball. of the catcher. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. Oh, this is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The 3-1. And he misses again, nope. ball, ball four. four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Kevin Biggio. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Biggio brings a batting line of barely over 200, so there's certainly some room for improvement there. He beat it first. This one gets through, and that could bring in a run. As he arrives at second without a play, as they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now, working the edges, painting the corners, but he left this one right over the plate, and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there. So now to the plate, Danny Jansen. Owen won the count. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at 1 and 1. He's already walked 2 in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Adama scoops it up. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. In to score from third is the tying run. It's now a 2-2 ball game. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Diaz has room in foul territory, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied 2-2. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth, but before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now at the plate, Brandon Lau is set to lead us off in the home the half of the fourth base. inning. Number eight. Here comes the first pitch. Lau 
A 25-year-old, he was selected in the third round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned oh. himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Two balls and a strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. Now back, first baseman, G-Man Choi. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. Oh, no, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Into the box, Willie Adamas. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And 2-0 and oh now as this misses below the knees. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Two and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Full count now. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Stepping in now, Yandy Diaz as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. On to panic, and that'll retire the side. Ray's strand just the one. We'll head to the fifth, tied at two. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. They currently have more than one hit per inning, and looking at strikeouts, they only have two. So far, the recipe for success has been to make contact early and often. Thank you, Heidi. New inning set to get underway. Digging in once again, Joe Panic. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Down and away, ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front, really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. In now, Vladimir Guerrero down the corner. And what's the call? It's a home run. And now hold on just a second here. It would appear that they're going to discuss whether this, in fact, stayed inside the foul pole. They're going to go inside and have a look at the video replay, as we'll take a look and let you decide for yourself. Oh. 
All right, the review looks like it's over. Was there indisputable video evidence? Yes, it's a foul ball after all. So take the home run off the board, and there's an instance where the video review got it right. Two runs, five hits, and no errors in the game. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. And a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. No hits to this point. 2-0 to the Jays' left fielder. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders, but now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. 3-0 to him now. The pitch. Taking all the way, it's three and one now. Four pitches, all takes. He's showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Matty. He can do a lot of damage on a base pass with his legs, so there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not getting anything to handle. Diaz is there, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. We've hit the halfway point, tied at two. Here now is Mike Zanino as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curve ball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Heading out towards shallow right. Here comes the right fielder, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting. The designated hitter, Kevin. At the plate, Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Here comes the first pitch. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Solo shot to right center. Eighth home run on the season for him. And that pushes the Rays out on top here. Three to two. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Joey Wendell digs in now. Yes, he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field. That's a base hit. Now batting left fielder, Manuel Into the box, Manuel Margot. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a fastball. A bit too low here. It's ball one. Runners on first with one down. Oh. 
Hit hard down the line. But a foul ball, one and one. Outside, two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. All even now, two and two. Runner at first here, one man out. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. Skied into very shallow right. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Austin Meadows. Riding in once again, Austin Meadows. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. No balls and a strike to count. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. A runner on first with two away. Hard hit ball to second. And that'll get down for a base hit. The battle. Number eight. At the plate, Brandon Lau. That's lifted the other way out to left. Waiting on it is Hernandez. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One for the Rays on the solo home run. Through five innings, it's now 3-2 to two Tampa. Oliver Drake takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 47. Oliver. Nice. Ball set for the start of the inning. Digging in. Bo Bichette. 0 for 2. He's flown out twice. First offering on its way. Taken. And that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the best. This is foul right side. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. He's got it. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here. Searching for that put away stuff. Here comes another 0-2. Weak rounder back to the mound. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. And he'll reach it first. Now batting. Number 44. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Rowdy Tellez. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six. But not three, apparently, as he'll hold on to it at second base. The batter, number eight. Designated hitter, Kevin 
Fizio. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Kevin Biggio, one for two in the ball game thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Oh. That's over, but low, oh, it's a ball and a strike. Popped him up. Choi gathers it in, and that retires the side. One error in the inning, but it doesn't hurt him. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Rays three. Standing in, G-Man Choi. And He's 0 for 2 thus Rays. far in this one. The first baseman, G-Man Choi. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Oh, and one. 0-1 count and the pitch. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. The batter, number one. Good stop. Willie. Good job. Here comes a Toronto skipper out toward the pitcher's mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Sam Gavilio takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 43, Sam Gavilio. Standing in now, Willie Adamas, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Gavilio, playing here in his age 29 season, he was a fifth-round pick back in 2011. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy, drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Hit sharply on the ground to panic covering on to first so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. They played the matchup there and it worked out perfectly. Ground ball double play and that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. So base is empty now after the double play and that'll give way to the third baseman Yandy Diaz. First offering on its way. And this is taken outside for ball one. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. The 1-0. Oh. Oh. Hey. Two balls and a strike. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Rays held in check here, but they still lead it three to two. Ready now, Danny Jansen. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. That's by him for strike one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to third. 
throw will not be in time. So good hustle there is now the possible tying run is aboard to lead things. And now it looks like they want some time to review that one here, so they'll check with their replay guys. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang-bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about him being safe either, but here's another shot. And indeed, they will elect to challenge the call. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will review the play from all available angles to come to a final decision. Okay, we're going to get one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? You know, I think there is. The shot right... Okay, umpires look ready, and off comes the headset, and he's out. So the original call is overturned, and it ends up being a well-used challenge there. Upon video review, the call of safe at first base has been overturned and the batter ruled out. Into the box now, Jonathan Davis. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Set to deliver the 0-1. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. Slow grounder to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Cut to the Blue Jays, the second baseman, Joe Panic. So digging in now, Joe Panic. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one, two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Liner toward right center, and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. Here comes the tying run home. And he's safe at the play. We are knotted at three. You know, Dero, in today's game, now it's not easy scoring field. in the late inning. So that RBI field. base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter to Oscar Hernandez. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Bo Bichette is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Meadows is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that potential go-ahead run at third base. A run for the Jays thanks to the RBI double. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. We're tied now with three apiece. Thomas Pannone gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. 
number 45. Last half of the seventh here. So here's Mike Zanino. He's one for two in this one. The catcher. Mike. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. One, here's the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Ready to deliver the one and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, and that, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. A ball and a strike now. One out, nobody on. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Joey Wendell is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Now the pitch. That swung on and missed. We're even at 1-1. One and one. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Fouled off. Set to deal on two and two. So a full count now. Just hung in there on that one. Another payoff pitch. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. Guerrero is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Rays go in order. One, two, three. No change in the score. It's three to three. Randall Gritchick at the... Leading off to the blue the white right fielder, number 15, Randall Gritchick. Jalen Beats has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 68, Jalen Beats. First pitch on its way. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. 
The bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting. Number 44. Now batting, Rowdy Tellez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hard hit towards center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Kevin Biggio. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. No ball. Into the wind, the 0-1. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul for strike two. The windup and the 0-2. And right into the shift. But this will wind up foul, still 0-2. Now the 0 and 2. The bouncer to the left side. He's right there. On the first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. And we are all tied at three apiece. Bottom of the inning now. Into the box now. Manuel Margot. The left Manuel. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And he fouls this one off. Hit to third. Scooped up. And that's the first out. Now that the right field. Off there. Mago. Now to the plate, Austin Meadows. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Whoa, right and there. a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Pulled toward right center field. Davis, the range to his left and put it away. Two down. Now batter, number eight. Up next for the Rays, Brandon Lau. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. And that is through into right field for a single. I guarantee you at release point, he wanted to pull this pitch back. Change up the middle of the plate usually gets deposited in the seats. Into the box, G-Man Choi, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. One ball, one strike to count. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. 
starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. The set and the one-two. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. He set the 3 2. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position now. Well, he made quick work of the first two guys this half inning, getting two quick outs, but then he gives up a base hit and now the walk. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone. And up next will be Willie Adamas. As a look, now the pitch. That's a bullet. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. The set and the 1 0. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Rays strand a pair. Still tied 3-3. Three to three. So striding forward now, Danny Jansen. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah! Oh, one for count. Hit on the ground out to short. Adamas brings it in. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batter, number 49. Standing in, Jonathan Davis. He was a ground out victim last time up. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The batter number two, second baseman, Joe Penn. In now, Joe Pennick. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First offering on its way. Two out, nobody on. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Bounce towards the second baseman. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. All squared up in St. Pete through eight and a half. The Rays have a chance to walk it off. Jordan Bamano comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. Jordan Romano. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. First delivery to him on the way. A ball and no strikes. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Now batting, Hector Mike Zunino. Striding into the box, Mike Zunino. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Ugh, was that ugly. You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. 
Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. That's back-to-back -back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Kevin Kiermeyer waits on deck. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Now back, the designated hitter, Kevin. Striding forward now is the DH, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and count 0-2 and We're then start good. working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1-0. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. The one and one pitch. And he popped him up. Coming in is Hernandez, but this will land untouched. From the stretch, the one-two, and it's fouled away. The one-two pitch, grounded to the right. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Tampa. Score remains tied at three to three. We are into extra inning. Leading off of the people, the third base. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball hit hard to the left side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Now battle. And so now if Tampa's thinking about making a change here, there's a look at what's available for them in the bullpen. So now to the plate to Oscar oh Hernandez. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. So a two-run shot to left center, and it's now 5-3. to three. Usually in extra innings, you wait around for someone to run into one. He took matters into his own hands. Now it's up to his pitching staff to grab the W. Now back. Colin Poche, a southpaw standing Please six foot three, Ladies gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Please. Now pitching for the Rays. Number 38. Colin. 
in now Bo Bichette as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one base is empty here with nobody out drilled right back up the middle and there's his first base hit in this one and he needed extra innings to get it but there's his first hit of the game and that'll keep the hit streak alive and kicking and D Hero, that's one of the beautiful things about the game of baseball, right? You go extra innings, that lineup turns over and was able to get him one extra A B. Yeah, and he'd be lying right now if he said he wasn't thinking about it. The boys hooked him up right there. Pitching staff extended the game a little bit. One more plate appearance, and he extends the hit streak. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. This ball will be chopped foul. A runner at first with no outs here. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Margo will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. The batter, number 44. So stepping in, Rowdy Tellez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Well, that curveball was really a hanger, and that's not a good sign. He's got to get back on track. He needs that release point to get out front and get the ball down in the zone. A two and one count to the Blue Jays' first baseman. Three and one. And a left handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just paid. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's taken for strike one. With some traffic on the base paths, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Curveball close, but it's one and one. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. One and two now. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. Standing in now, Danny Jansen. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Two men are on with two men out. Fouled away. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The next 0 2. Rounded back up the middle. Reined in. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and two left. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Blue Jays 5 and the Rays 3. Ken Giles enters the game here an inning later than usual as he'll try to close this one out in the 10th. Giles. Leading off the inning, Manuel Margot, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First pitch of the at-bat. 
inside with the fastball. It's 1-0. and Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fouled off. The 1-1 one, one home. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1-2 and two hole. Now here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Here's the one and two. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. At the plate, Austin Meadows as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's working on a one for three. Thus far, Hunter Renfro will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 11, Hunter. Nobody out runner on first. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And it's fouled away. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. At the plate now, Brandon Lau. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. Misses for the second ball. You know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series. And maybe even the whole week ahead. Now the 2-0. Three balls. Perfect. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Swing and a miss. Three and one. Runners on first with one down. Hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. First game of the new series, and he's already sitting on three knocks right now. The pitching staff might have to make an adjustment going forward. Plate now, G-Man Choi, as he would look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. With runners in scoring position this season, Choi is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. Count even now at one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. A leap and he makes the catch as he crashes into the wall. And he'll make it up safely to third so they're at the corners now with two men out. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. Digging in to try it again. Willie Adamas and their runners at the corners now. Here's the first pitch to him. one -oh. One oh home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. A one one. Runners on first and third, two away. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And this evening's contest comes to a close. 5-3 the final. Jordan Bermano gets the win in relief his second of the year. Ken Giles closes the door for the save his 13th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score tonight.